Welcome to the Ramapo MSET Lesson 1, Setting Up Dreamweaver for the Brains class. This is assuming that you have a USB drive plugged in, that you have a working copy of Dreamweaver, you have access to your files and folders, your files and folders are set up according to the instructions you received in class. During this particular lesson, you're going to learn how to set Dreamweaver site definitions, export or save those site definitions for use later on, grab a portfolio template and FTP that portfolio to the server so that you can start using your web space. So let's go ahead and get started. I've gone ahead and loaded the Ramapo MSCT website. As a recollection, that website is www.rst2.edu slash masters. And over here on the left hand side is a button called Portfolio. So I'm going to click on that one time. And then I'm going to click on the program for my sample tonight, which is MSCT. You will click on the program that is most appropriate to you, whether that's MSCT or MSN. Clicking on the MSCT, Next, I would click on the letter of my last name. And for my sample tonight, I am going to scroll down and use this folder. You, of course, would be using your own folder. Now, once I click into this particular chunk, what will happen is this window will come up. And yours may look slightly differently. But basically, it's saying that no student work has been posted as of yet. And that's okay, that's normal if this is a brand new account. Now I'm going to just kind of move this down and out of the way for a moment because I do want to point out this window is no longer needed. I'm going to go ahead and close this window so that it's not in my way. And here we have this window that we are going to be using. Now before I go forward in terms of understanding, I want to talk for a moment about this web address. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the entire thing and I'm going to go ahead and copy that piece of information. Before I move forward, let me just bring that up into this particular window. Now what I want to show you, of course, is that all of our web addresses start with an HTTP colon slash slash. That designates that it's a web document. The next piece that I'd like to point out to you is this front end portion all the way up to the first slash. This is the actual name of the server or the host where we are sending our information and where people would go to get information that we have posted. Last, this portion is representing my folders that are on the server. Now none of these are things that you control or that you have access to. These are all set up for you in advance. But you're going to notice that after you get done, that everything after your folder name here, all of that is an exact copy of your thumb drives. So once again, keep in mind, this portion is your host. And these portions over here are your host directories or folders. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that little sample there. Once again, I've highlighted this information. I've right clicked and I've copied. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Dreamweaver up here. Now I have already preloaded Dreamweaver just so I could save some time, but of course you would go to Start Programs, Adobe CS4 and Dreamweaver CS4. Now notice here that within Dreamweaver we have lots of different things we can do we could just start right out and create a new HTML document. However, I want Dreamweaver to help me in managing my files and more importantly help me in terms of copying my files and folders over to the server. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my site definitions and that's going to be part two of our video. So go ahead and move on